Hey, welcome to GDPG, where we play games and talk game design, and today we are back with more Overland. And why, might you ask, are we back with more Overland? Because, because you are, voted for it. We, You did. I was going to say, we did vote for it, but no. You, I didn't vote for it. You guys voted for it. So I voted against you. it. I didn't vote against it. I don't watch any of our episodes. I don't <laughs> Unless I, I think I'm particularly funny, and then I watch it. <laughs> I was going to say, there's usually a little bit of, there's like a level of narcissism that like follows you watching your own content. Yeah. But, you know, of course, you take it to the next level. Of me, well, <laughs> <laughs> should, of me watching it, like a video of me watching our own video, we should do this sometimes. It's like no, GDPG it's reacts to GDPG. GDPG, P, except, G. Except the React channel, whatever it is. Uh, try to copyright the phrase react or trademark it. They tried to trademark it. Didn't go through. Trademark. Don't worry, guys. But it any, never anyone will. anyone oh. that's big on, on the react channels probably knows a moment like a couple months ago where they all freaked out. Anyway, we're playing Overland. Last we played this, I think it was build 151. So now it's in build 131. You said 151? You mean 115? 115. Uh... And it's gone through its second round of, of like, alpha release. This is why I'm the systems designer. Yeah, well. Because numbers. <laughs> we're just going to jump right in here. So we're going to do another uh, new game. Um, I don't know if they've added a new area since we last played, but we're just going to kind of So I was going to say, you haven't played since the uh, at all since the update. I had a feeling there would be a dog, and there is a dog. They oh. kind of said something in the update. Ooh. Ooh, they have some new icons too. So we I haven't seen this new new build yet, so I don't even know what's in store for us. Um but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go get Poochie over here. Aw, he said woof. Aw. Oh. Come with me, Poochie. He's like yeah. Can I call you Mary? What? So Poochie's name is Mary, I guess. Well since this is easy mode, might as well whoop. Switching characters is a little laggy. And dogs can't hold things. Or maybe they can. I guess we'll find out. I would assume not. Oh, Unless they, you put a little barrel around their neck. Ah. Uh, they can hold I, things I, I in think. their mouth. Um, I don't know if there's any limitations as far as that goes. but. So then what does the dog do? Uh, so the dog was in like build 101 which is where i first saw the dog and for whatever reason they I, it seemed like they took the dog out I, I could be wrong and maybe the random generation just was never in my favor um but the dog does has a default attack that's more powerful than the humans oh okay um i think the downside is that they can't do as much they probably can't throw things i'd be very surprised if they could <laughs> Um, but I guess you never really know. You never know what kind of game it is until you watch a dog <laughs> throw a thing. I mean, right? That's what I always say. Get in the car. I think dogs... Okay, so dogs can search. Oh, yeah, buddy. I wonder if... <laughs> use it as a shield. Yeah, I really want to know if you can use it as a shield. That'd be really funny. So I'm excited to see what, what new stuff that they've introduced to the game other than this. Oh. I can turn on the car, but I can't drive it. Let's get out of here. So I don't know if we're going to do another full playthrough since we've already seen uh, mm -hmm. both the plains and the mountains. So really at this point, we're just going to do a few, f maybe four episodes until we... Uh, <laughs> he still <laughs> has it in his mouth. Uh, um, but we're just going to do enough episodes to kind of get a feel of all the new stuff and, and see the new interface and all yeah. this jazz. Um, because you voted on it. Because you voted, and you can keep voting on it too. We're not necessarily going to stop. That's the great thing about randomly generated games. Oh is yeah, that uh, replayability, man. Right, and it's re YouTube ability. Should coin that term right now. Coin it. Coin <laughs> re YouTube ability. Ooh, is that? Oh, that's just rock. It's a rock. Oh, look at that one person. Good rock. Just chilling out. Okay, here's my chance to see if I can push him. Nope, but I can just kill him. Do it. Just do it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, uh, he's all the way over there now. So you bought yourself plenty of time. Actually, yeah, that did work out pretty well. I think there was also... I read in the... Uh, oops, I did not really want to go there. Oh, there are people... Over, I didn't realize that there were those guys down there. Yeah, I'll just go here and pick that up. Yeah. I'll search those dumps. Is this a sign? Um, I think I read in, in the bug log... Oh, wow, you came to me. Thanks, buddy. 
that uh, in the build that we played, you could actually light bodies on fire. So there are torches. I don't think we really toyed with this at all. Oh, we didn't um, get a torch. But we can light things on I fire. I want a torch. You can actually take the gasoline and spill it on the ground. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and so it basically creates a barrier that will damage enemies. Now, I don't know if... If these monsters, if they die in that fire, I don't know if it'll summon more monsters. I assume so, but it still is kind of cool. Um, but apparently you could light these, like, random dead bodies on fire, and it would cause the game to, like, explode. I don't I don't actually know what would happen, but you can read the bug logs and <laughs> find out, too. I thought it was kind of funny, though. Bugs are funny. Uh, I'm going to drop this here so new guy can pick that up. In fact, let's invite him to the party. So what can you do? He's energetic. Yes. All right, Dean, you're going to be my new best friend because that's my Dean. favorite ability. And you're going to go over here, Poochie. Wow. What is that character from? Poochie. Poochie. Poochie? Poochie was uh, Yoshi's Island. Oh. Yep. God, that dog. He's so stupid. I love Poochie. I mean, he was great. He's super powerful. Broke the game. That's true. But he was stupid. That is one of my favorite things in uh, Yoshi's Woolly World, which we haven't played on the show. I think we're going to put it in the voting system for uh, post oxen love, free. If you've been watching that love series, Yoshi's Woolly World. Yeah, I think Jen and I play it a lot on our own, so I think it would only make sense for her and I to play it on the show at some point. Whatever. If people want to see it, at least. Oh yeah, Poochie, you found more gas. Except you're out of action, so you can't do anything with that. Poochie, get in the car. Poochie, why aren't you listening? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with this guy? Uh, stuff. Uh, he's gonna get killed. Good. Pick up this rock. Yeah. Oh, I summoned a big guy. It's a bit early for a big guy, isn't it? Uh, Last time, I don't think we saw any, uh, like, mutated ones until later on. Until, like, the second area. Maybe that was just coincidence. Mm. Mm, that could be coincidence. I feel like they started showing at least in by the... That's not what I wanted to do. Cool. Wait, she still has an action. Pull you in, Poochie. Yes. <laughs> Dog's like, no. You know, I went here because there was promise of gas, and I really did not find much. You got two got, canisters I, I got, of that. I think I got one, which only had like four units no, of gas. No, you totally got two. You got one outside. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Right here. This is it. Gas is the name of the game, man. Only because you don't have to... <laughs> Perfect. <gasps> Poochie can drive? Oh, no, damn it. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that either. <laughs> uh, sometimes there are great examples of Chris learning things the hard way and that was that was one of those moments this this whole game has been you trying to figure out if you can make the dog do human things uh yeah well you never know they haven't maybe they haven't programmed all the logic yet <laughs> I mean you know it's alpha those things can happen it's true you never know some of the some of the past alpha uh, bugs in games have defined those games Okay, I definitely was hoping that Poochie could pull him in, too. <laughs> there was no luck. Run over. Aww. I wonder if we'll still drive through them. I think that's one thing that they do need to, from a design perspective, look at at some point. I'm sure they, they're already well aware of it because they're good designers. That do you need to use the gas? Because last time we played, you just, like, you had the gas, but you never... Use yeah, the I gas. Just, I should just drive through the woodlands. Yeah. 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 You, we you, you, we... Were, you were a little... He, well, he talked about it after, after we were done with the last playthrough. He's like, man, I was so stupid in that playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> I really was. Oh, wait, no. Poochie, you can't fill up gas. In fact, uh, Poochie, I guess you're going to hold a rock, even though you can't do anything with it. But, you know, that's the thing. Can you kill him? I wish I could tell if that would, if they can like kill, you know, like Banner Saga, when you hover next to them, it shows you how much damage you're going to deal to them. The, I mean, the thing is, and we probably talked about it last time, in most tactical games, you can see, like, you know 
how well you're going to do when you try to attack or you know how much damage you're going to do or hit chance or something along the lines of that. Usually in tactical game, that's how it works because the skill involves the tactics, not necessarily the guesswork. But in this type of game where it has that roguelike feel, oh, you did not kill it. No, but I have a rock. Roan rocks. Kill. Ah. So I do notice that this first, like, uh, checkpoint that we need to get through is more difficult. Before it was two of those dumpsters, maybe not even two, maybe it was just one dumpster um, that was, like, in on the street and we just had to pull one out of the way and then we right. drive through. They've changed the layout, so now there's a rock, a barricade, and two dumpsters. So it means we have to actually pull both of those dumpsters off of the road in order to advance, which inherently no, I mean, makes good. this whole thing a lot more challenging. It is really good, actually. Yeah, the, the previous one felt a little arbitrary. This is, is a lot more challenging. Yeah, but I agree. But we can talk about how challenging it is on the next episode. Oh, dang. I mean, you know, assuming we'll survive this. Well, I'm, I'm sure we'll... <laughs> oh, there's even a rock blocking this one. Wow, they made this a lot more difficult. Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Get excited about this. As we're saying on the next one. So, question of the day. Uh, do you have something? Because I think I have something. Go for it. For once. Um, ah. I've been struggling lately, man. Every time it's like, ah, well, we could talk about oh, like, God. things. We were trying to do it with Eric. I felt <laughs> it was always like, Nathan, do you have any questions today? So, question of the day for this one. I want to talk about the dog. Um, so this is the first time we've seen a character that cannot do this, perform the same actions that other characters can do. Mm. Um, so I guess I want to ask, do you think that it balances out, right? He inherently deals more damage, and he can still carry things. Um, so I guess, as far as the design of the dog, what do you guys think about it? And I guess, do you think it needs any, any like, tweaking? And if so, like, what more would you give the dog if you think that he's, he needs it? Good question. That's not... Uh got nothing witty to say to that and i guess if you don't think he needs any balancing what other kind of characters like the dog would you create pigeons yeah right i don't know poop on monsters scare them away i'd run if i got pooped on what why are we talking about this? so weird <laughs> <laughs> thank Not you for watching way. everyone be sure to vote on what you want to see after this whether it's more overland or whatever the other game is i don't know where are we that way is this Am I right? Uh, oh no, you reverse it, right? To be honest, I'm not totally. I good. don't even know anymore. <laughs> Vote, like us, watch things, stuff. Yeah, the whole the whole gambit. <laughs> Thanks everyone. We'll Bye. see you in the next episode.